In this video let's discuss that if Tony Soprano was killed at the end of the series, the most likely candidate would have been Polly. In this scene here with Johnny Sack, Polly tells John, I'm only trying to bring good relations between the families, as I always do and will, no matter who's in charge. Now I don't believe Polly really meant that, considering how greedy and cheap Polly was, what Polly really was about was himself and himself only. He started the mess with New York with the slurs against Jenny because Tony went against him for Ralph at the end of season 3. When Polly finds out Johnny Sack lied the whole time saying Carmine Sr. asks about him. Only to find out Carmine didn't know who he was. Polly pulled another selfish act by stealing from the old lady Min Matrone. When Min catches him in the act, Polly takes her out, because nobody gets in Polly's way. One thing I wanted to add is if Polly was a made man and been through mafia wars, telling Silvio that he lived through the 70s when the war with the Colombo family was going down, how didn't Carmine know who Polly was anyway? Maybe it is because Carmine never says anything in the show to incriminate himself, so he kept himself protected in that situation. After Johnny Sack dies and Phil takes over as boss, he wants to war with New Jersey and take out the upper management. When they name the top three guys, and Polly's name is mentioned, Butch says no. They name Bobby instead. New York wasn't stupid, if you're going to go after a family, you're going to want to take out the top enforcer of the family. Since Polly wasn't considered, it's one of the reasons why I believe Polly was possibly feeding New York more business and trying to keep himself protected like he was going to do with Johnny Sack in season 4. This time was different as well, Tony didn't trust anyone anymore especially Polly. He was backed into a corner on the boat with Tony when he kept asking Polly if he told Johnny Sack about the joke on John's wife. If Polly would have said he told John, Tony would have certainly killed Polly on that boat. Tony also didn't trust anyone anymore at that point, plus Polly showed no income so he was a liability, that it's possible Polly knew his days were numbered. Tony and Polly seen at the pork store, Polly said no to being captain of the April crew when Tony asked. Polly was a bit superstitious but it's a possibility Polly didn't want to be a captain there because he could have known there was better opportunities ahead. Also when Tony gives Polly the job to whack Phil, he botches that attempt. It's a possibility Polly did it on purpose and could have known Phil wasn't at his Gumar's house. Another opinion going around is that someone from Eugene's camp was involved in Tony getting whacked. In the episode titled Members Only, Vito Spatafor mocks Eugene Pontecorvo for wearing a jacket bearing the Members Only logo. Instead of responding, Eugene gives Vito a stare but does not answer. This moment hints to the audience that Eugene may have connections to another secret of an undisclosed gang. The man who supposedly shot Tony, also seen in a similar jacket, might have been associated with this gang. This act could be interpreted as retaliation against Tony for denying Eugene's wish to relocate, which eventually led to Eugene's suicide. Others have said that the member's only guy was Davey Scatino. But I quickly reject that theory because the actor Robert Patrick wasn't in the credits for the episode. Others have said Little Carmine arranged for Butch to eliminate both Phil Leotardo and Tony Soprano with the infamous whatever happened there scene. Some fans think Little Carmine was a puppet master. Initially, Little Carmine was the rightful boss of the family but was surpassed by Johnny Sack and later Phil Leotardo. The issue arises because Little Carmine had always maintained a positive relationship with Tony and had no motive to harm him. In fact, Tony was among the few mobsters who would have supported Little Carmine as boss, given Little Carmine's tendency to be easily influenced. Also Little Carmine told Tony he didn't want to be a boss. On the other hand Polly had a forcing factor to where he might have been able to easily influence Little Carmine by force at the end of the series, after the sit down between Tony, Carmine and Butch. In my opinion if Tony was killed at the end of the series, Polly Walnuts had to have been involved in some sort of way. He was more seasoned than any other mafioso in the Jersey crew. Some theories have Patsy being involved for revenge over his brother Spoons. If Patsy wanted revenge, Polly was the only survivor left who knew who clipped Spoons. So that's another theory that ties Polly into taking Tony out. What do you think happened at the end? Do you think Polly had his hands in Tony's demise? If not, who was the most likely person who would have had their hand in doing it? 
or did Tony survive? Leave your thoughts down below.